In this video, we're going to take a look at how we can work with named plot style tables in AutoCAD. Now there are a couple of different ways to determine how things are going to print. Uh, one is to set them up by layers, for example. Another is to set them up by color using a color dependent plot style table. And another is to use a named plot style table. So if I right click on the layout tab here and go to page setup manager and click modify, I can see some named dependent plot style tables. These have STB extensions. Color dependent ones have CTB. Now you can only do one per drawing. You can't add, for example, color dependent ones to this drawing because they already have named ones in there. Where do those come from? Well, they come from the templates themselves. If I go to a new drawing, if I select this ACAD template, for example, it is a color dependent plot style table. If I want a named one, then I need to choose the specific plot style table template there. So with that in mind, what I want to do then is I basically want to set up some styles and then I can assign those styles to objects, either through properties or their layers. So I'm going to right click once again on the tab and go to page setup manager and modify. And then I am going to create a new plot style table. I'll start this from scratch. Then I'll give it a name. I'll call this one lot. Then what I want to do is go in and set all of the plot styles. So I'll select the plot style editor. Next, I want to set up my styles. So for my first one here, I'm going to add a style and I'm going to rename it guidelines. I could put in a description. So for example, I might say this is for contour and boundary lines. Then I will set the color. So let's say that I want these to show up in green. Then I can set the line type as well. So instead of using whatever line type it was drawn in, I'm going to tell it that anything that I put into this particular plot style needs to print solid. Finally, I'll have it print with a thick one millimeter line weight. I'm going to add a couple more styles here. Before I do, I'm going to stretch out my dialog box so I can see these other styles a little bit better. Then once again, I'll click add style and this next one is going to be named finished. And I'll put in a description that just simply says final lines. Anything in this style is going to print black. It's going to print solid. And it's going to use a slightly thicker line weight, 1.58 millimeters. Then one more style. This last one is going to be called remove. And then I'll give it a simple description of objects to be removed. For the color, these things are going to be magenta. The line type is going to be dashed and the line weight will go with zero. Then I'll go ahead and save and close. I'll finish. As you can see, it's been applied here. I can go ahead and display the plot styles and click OK and close. But nothing really happened. So with color dependent plot styles, you assign them by color and things that are already in those colors will automatically update. With named plot style tables, in addition to creating the styles, we have to assign things those particular styles. And we can do that a couple of different ways. One way is to do that by layers, and another way is to do that by properties. So let's take a look at doing this by layer. If I go up to my layer properties manager, I'm looking for the plot style column. I'm not currently seeing it. I'm going to go ahead and move over here. And here I can see my plot style. Now I also have one for viewport if I want to just overwrite it in a viewport, but we're going to change the overall. So we're just going to use the plot style column to make it a little less confusing. I could go back to the model tab and here I'll only have the one column. So as I said earlier, I just want to associate those styles that I created to specific layers. So one style we created was guidelines and I want to associate that to the boundary layer. So for the boundary layer under plot style, I'll select here 
This will open up the select plot style dialog box and I'll choose the guidelines style and click OK. I'm going to repeat that for the buildable area layer. So once again, I'll assign the guidelines style to it. And I'll do the same for contours. The finished style that we created is going to be associated with the new layer. So I'll select the new layer, select the plot style, and then finished. Same thing with road. So I'll apply finished to that one as well. And trees. And then the remove style that we created will be applied to the existing layer. Okay, so let's switch back to the layout tab. Nothing has changed so far. I'm going to go ahead and regenerate all of my viewports by typing in regen all and pressing enter. And now you can see pretty obviously the changes take place. So all the finished objects, including the trees, are now black. We can see the guidelines are now green, as well as the contours. And then we can see the pink hidden objects for things that need to be removed. One of the things that's unique to this particular method is being able to assign styles to individual objects. So instead of just doing them by layer, we can also do them per object. So I'm going to double click inside this viewport and it looks like we might have to remove a couple of trees here to get these other things built. So I'm going to select these objects, right click and go to properties. That will open up my properties palette. And you can see in the general section, one of the properties we can adjust is the plot style. So instead of by layer, I can actually set these individual objects to the remove style. So once again, with a named plot style, we create the different styles and then we associate those styles to objects either through the layers property manager or the properties palette. That concludes this look at working with named plot style tables in AutoCAD.